Okay, I was not intending to make a video today, but I just received a parcel. A parcel. This parcel looks like it has been somewhat ripped open, and it has a... Well, there's the... Okay. It says across here... I don't, well, let me turn the light down so you can see it. Hopefully that's better. It says, Inspected Duane. Duane is Customs. So this was inspected by Customs Canada. And it is the first time I have ever been sent um, samples of whiskey. These come all the way from <clears throat> Glasgow, Scotland, from uh, a YouTuber by the name of Aquavite. He's been commenting on my videos a lot lately. And uh, I just watched one of his videos where he's throwing away uh, empty bottles and rating them as he goes. And uh, I don't know how much of this tape was his tape or, or how much of it was customs. But um, this thing has been through customs. Hopefully the contents have not been... have not been ruined. Nobody asked me to pay any duty on anything, so maybe the the contents are are so small that that it's not given much. Maybe it maybe there's nothing in here worth enjoying or saving. Uh, they had to put so much tape and stuff on here. How am I supposed to get in there? Childproof. Oh, maybe this way. Oh, yeah. This is working. Anyways, apparently there's five whiskey samples in here. And it's and I'm going to conduct a blind taste test because this has been set up in such a way that uh, there are five samples and I think they're numbered or lettered. And uh, in an envelope there is a list of five whiskeys but they're, they're not corresponding to, to the exact bottle. Okay. All right. There is some... Spaghetti confetti. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a shredded paper. Try putting that back together. <laughs> Good thing I got some... Oh, my little trash can is almost full too. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got a dark chocolate. A lint touch of sea salt, that's nice for cleansing the palate. And what green and black's organic chocolate. I've never seen this before. Made with the finest Trinitario cocoa beans for an intense taste. That will be interesting. Okay, this I've had before, but not this. And what is this? Oh, biscuits. <laughs> oh, Aquavite, you've gone all out. These are from, from Scotland, naturally. Caithness Biscuits. That's a name I saw in Macbeth. One of the Thanes was the Thane of Caithness, if I recall. That is really cool. And, okay. What, what, oh, there's something else here. Oat Cakes. <laughs> Orkney Thin Oat Cakes. My gosh, that'll be, this is going to be a really, really big tasting extravaganza. Now this here is the, the big, 
Okay, there's nothing else beneath that except a bunch of spaghetti confetti here. Um, a whole wad of it. Okay, let's put the box aside. I'm smelling oats and oat cakes. <laughs> and biscuits. Oh man, these are just the things for cleansing the palate. Now, drinks by the drown. Oh, hopefully this is still... Okay. Oh, it's got a little letter and two envelopes. And, oh, look. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> here's a, okay, here's a, here's a little letter to me. And I'm going to read it. But these are the two envelopes. Okay, there are these. Uh, list of samples without key and list of samples with key. Okay, so. <laughs> and there's a card here. It doesn't become whiskey until it's shared. Oh, okay, from, this is Aquavite's card. He even sent me his card. That's great. <laughs> He's much more prepared than I am. I'm just, okay, here's a letter to me. It says, uh, really hope this gets to you. At one time I sent samples across the Atlantic and only had to write malt samples in the customs declaration, and it was fine. Now things have become a lot tighter. I now use a courier service, so fingers crossed. Well, it's here. It's here. I've got... I've got here five little bottles. And these five little bottles represent the first samples that have ever been sent to me. Every other whiskey that I have talked about online here has been um, um, something that I bought myself. And these are quite well sampled, uh, quite well um, sealed. They're waxed. Do these, all oh, these bottles do have, oh, different color spots on the bottom. See, there's, there's a, that, that's supposed to be red. It looks like red here, but not on the screen. On the screen, it looks like a pink. This is a yellow, a yellow spot. Oh, I guess that's yellow spot, right? Okay. This one here is a, I don't know what color that is, but whatever color it is, that's another color. I think that's pink. It looks like a sherry. Okay. Okay, let's see now. This, this one here with a green spot. A green spot. Oh, there's two green spots. There's a, there's like a, or is that blue? One of them looks like a, like a military camo color. And, uh oh. Uh oh, one of them leaked. One of these has leaked. Shit. Okay. One of these has leaked. So there's not much left. I'm getting some on. Oh, okay. It's leaked in here. It's leaked in here a little bit. And it's leaked on the cardboard. It's leaked on my hand. Oh, good thing there's still a bit left. This is the, I think, the blue one. Anyway. Okay, right away, just by looking at it, if these are a natural color, that one looks like a bourbon barrel. That one looks like, oh man. This one looks like it has some, uh, some sherry in it. If these are natural color, that is. That one, that one's dark. That, that's either an old sherry, and this one is almost as dark. Uh, who knows, they could all be bourbons. <laughs> I don't think so. Coming from where, and this one, well, oh my. Trouble is, it evaporates so fast. So even though there's a seal, the seal broke, maybe. Maybe this was the customs way of telling me that. Yeah, we're going to, so that's just, ha, that's just a, that's a small sample. That's gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to try that just once. Okay. Well, there's the unboxing. 
and whatever what else did it say on here um you now uses a courier service okay so there's like five five colors red yellow green blue and orange i think yeah those are the colors in this the stickers okay i get a kick out of sharing whiskey i always have in some ways isn't that the point you share yours through the magic of youtube well yeah i kind of yeah I've been thinking about shipping something to you, something out to you for a while, and your mention of blind lineup during your live show was a call to action. If you want to do a full blind thing, you could pour half of each dram and see how you get on without opening any envelopes. I've added some dots to mark your blind cairns with and keep track. Oh, now that now I get it. Okay, okay. However, I think it might be more fun to do what we call a semi-blind lineup. In this case, simply open the first envelope and you'll discover what you have. The challenge in this case is to match the drams. It sounds easy, but we always manage to cross our wires. It's great fun. The second envelope contains the answer and also some labels should you want to keep the half drams until later. You can match them with the colored dots on the base of the drams. Okay. Also in the package, I sent you dark chocolate. Yes, thank you. Oat cakes, as I know you're a fan of palate cleansing. <laughs> the Orkney Thins are my palate cleanser of choice, and a very Scottish way of doing it. I hope you find this fun. Slancha from Scotland. Your whiskey friend, Aqua Vitae. Uh, on reflection, a man of your talents should match these even on a bad night. <laughs> Well, it's a morning now, and really, I, I don't feel good about this. This is this is just a sample for tasting, and so that's one that I will not get to enjoy otherwise. So just give me a moment. I will get some clean Glen Glencairns. Um, good thing I washed some this weekend. Uh, okay, all right. Let me get a little bit tidied up here. Okay, I'll. Where's my mouse? I'll be back. Now this here is going to be a little marathon of sorts as I have five clean Glencairn glasses right here in front of me. And I have one sample that almost all leaked out. And four samples that are still intact. Which could be worse. I mean, this could have all been completely gone. Now, oh, oh, oh it's a screw top. Oh, and let me guess that these are, oh, that's what happened. The customs must have gone in there to, to find out what we had. Okay, that's why it's leaked all over the place, because the seal's been broken. It's just been chopped right through there. Okay, well, that one is the, what color is that? That is the... Well, let's pour it first. This is all I get of this sample. Ooh. Hopefully they didn't put any poison in there with it. Okay, that is one. Oh, shit. Here, put this. Okay, is that a blue one? I believe that's a blue one. Okay, that's a blue one. It's the blue one that leaked all over the place. And watch it be the most expensive and hard to find of all of these. Right? Okay, we'll put a blue sticker on there. And that's the blue one. Leaking everywhere. Maybe I can get a couple more drops out of it. This one here is the... Is that yellow or pink? Looks like it's a pink one. So I will put a pink thing on here. Come on, you. Okay. See if I can. Okay, that turns open too. This one did not leak. And I hope I can get the right, the same amount as I got in the first one. These things are a little more difficult to pour than than um, full-size bottles. Okay, it needs a little more. 
Okay. So there's plenty of this one left. Okay. We've got this one here. That's another one. And that is a red one. Okay, let's put the red one on there. This might be terribly boring for some people, but at least it's documented. It's We're documenting the whole thing. Okay, this is a red one. And it looks fitting because this is the, the reddest of the samples. Let's see if I get the hang of doing this. Okay, that is maybe a little much. I do have a habit of pouring maybe a little much. Okay, here is a... Is that a... Oh, I think I got my yellow and pink mixed up. This is a yellow one. Wait. Yeah. Okay, so this pink one... <laughs> Let's, let's switch them. This pink sticker should be on the yellow one. And the yellow sticker. The yellow sticker should go on the pink one and with the yellow sticker which I have a yellow sticker here see the light is pretty low just just to make it look good on screen if the light was brighter in here then I could I could see better uh, better what color these things are yeah. and I do have a little bit of a of a red green color blindness but not so bad that I can't make these out. Oh, this one's nice and full. Okay. And let's just maybe another drop. Okay, that's good. I seem to be pouring them deeper as I go, but that's four samples so far. And the last, which is the green spot. <laughs> okay. Get a green spot on there. Like I said I wasn't going to be making a video today, but this the curiosity got me, and here we are. It is Tuesday morning, and these came here last night on Monday Monday evening, just as I had finished brushing my teeth and I was about to go out the door to go to work. There was a knock on the door. It was just like like that, and. Uh, so I went to the door and there was this package sitting right there. All right, we've got our five things poured. Now let's get some of these biscuits ready. And one of them is broken in two. We oat cakes. <laughs> all right. Now this is all that I could salvage of the leaking one. Mm. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I already know what this is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure already. What have we got here? Hmm. It's like a space side. That's an Isla. What do we got here? And I don't know how how long the bottles were open of these samples before they were sampled. You know, one of them could be a fresh bottle and one could have been 
the tails of the bottle or the heels of the bottle, so I don't know. Not much nose here. Well, let's let's see what we got. The list of samples without the key. Let's try this. All right. This is the envelope with the list of samples. Ah. Highland Park 18, Springbank 15, Bunnehaven Moin. Oh. Oh. My goodness. Highland Park 18, Springbank 15, Bunnehaven Moin Alarasso, no, no age statement, official bottling. Cast strength 60.1. Highland Park 21 year old official bottling at 47.5. Springbank 15, I know, I have some. Okay. This is probably a Highland Park. Okay. I have not had any of these except for the Springbank 15 at 46%. This, I thought it was a Lefroy at first, then I thought it was a, no, that is lovely Petey Nose, lovely, 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 okay, I thought it was a Lefroy, but Okay, it could be the Buna Hopin. I think this is the Springbank. Don't forget my pink and yellow are are switched. It's got a lot of that earthy, earthy note that um, you would get from a Springbank, from Springbank 15 particularly. Okay, so I, I think we have the Bonahaven and Springbank. Dog Blair. I think this is the Bell Blair. This is the green one. Yeah, I had some Bell, Bell Blair 99 just the other night. So his Bell Blair was a 21 year old independent bottling from Gordon and McPhail. So this yellow one and this blue one, but the yellow one is really pink, right? The yellow one is really pink. Yeah, it's probably Highland, and this one's probably Highland as well. But which is the older of the two? I would expect the one that is woodier to be the 21, and the one that is less woody to be the 18.
Okay. Okay, what did I say? Bell Blair. Yeah. That was the green one. And this is our gonna happen. Oh. Alarasso, heavy Alarasso. And that would easily be the one at highest proof, too, because it, it sniffs the easiest. Um, the, the flavors just jump out of, of, of that one. And this is a... Spring bank. I said this was a spring bank, but now I'm getting... I, I said this was a spring bank. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's taste them. I'm thinking these two are Highland Parks. You're talking 21. No, this is about Blair. That's the Bell Blair. This one is the Highland, the other Highland Park. And I'm thinking the woodier one is going to be the 21. That's probably the 18. And that's probably the 21. The 21 is the one I think that's spilled first. Let's go with the lighter ones. Um, Highland Park 21 would be that, that one. Highland Park 18. And Val Blair and Highland Park 18. Okay. Val Blair, Highland Park 18 would be the lower alcohol by volumes. And the Springbank 15 is at 46. And the Highland Park 21 is at. 47.5 spring bank okay I just went by nose now we're gonna go by taste I'm gonna go from the gentlest to the strongest Gentlest, and I'm thinking this is the Highland Park. Uh, no, this would be the Bell Blair 21 year old from Gordon and McPhail. Don't forget, my pink and yellow are backwards from whatever's in the sealed envelope. Okay. Wow. Wow. Reminds me a bit of the Bob Larry that I have. This is going to be a long video because I'm trying all of these. Okay. That's the green one. Goodness. Wait a second. That's the green one. These colors don't. That's a blue one. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's the same green. That's this one. That's the, I think, the bell blare. And the one that I have is green is, is that's the one that's the rare one that's doesn't have much of that left. And the green one, what did I say it was? The green one was a Highland Park 21. Yeah, 
That's what I said it was. I might be unsure. But I think that's what it is. Now this yellow one. This yellow one. Yeah, there's the yellow one. And I said that the yellow one was most probably the Highland Park 18. Okay. It's my yellow, but my pink and yellow are backwards, right? Was that the red one? That was the red one. Okay. This was the green one there. This was the pink one. Uh, the pink one I thought was the spring bank. Okay. Okay, let's go with this one, which I think is the Highland Park 18. Never had Highland Park 18 before, but I'm thinking that's what this is. Oh yeah, it definitely resembles It's like a Highland Park 12, but with just more. Oh. Good thing there's plenty of this. It's somewhat peated, but not, not too heavily. How does it compare in color to this other one, which I think... Uh, how does that compare? It's hard to see. This one is a little darker, I think. That would make the difference between 21 and 18, or 18 and 21, okay. I'm pretty confident in that assessment. Oh man, this video is going to be long. I hope you don't mind, guys. Blame it all on Aquavite. Hmm. Let's move on to what I think is the Springbank 15. And what I should do is take my pink and yellow and transpose them back the way they're supposed to be. Just because there's probably a pink and yellow in the sealed envelope. Now did I ever make this difficult for nothing? Uh, come on, get off of there. I should have been more careful with seeing these colors. Just think, what if I was completely colorblind and couldn't see color at all? <laughs> that would be terrible! <laughs> okay, that's a pink one, and that's a yellow one, okay. Pink and the yellow should be changed. <laughs> okay, there's the proper yellow one. And here's the proper pink one. See, my problem is distinguishing pink and yellow or, or blue, a certain shade of blue and red next to each other. And I got real problems. Okay, that looks about right. Okay, those two are the same. And I think this will follow the, the legend that Aquavite has been so kind to provide for us. <laughs> All right. This is what I think is the Springbank 10. Or 15. Because I do have some.
yeah, it's got that earthy spring bank kind of thing going on. I'm pretty confident about that. Tastes a lot like the bottle of Springbank 15 that I have. Okay. Another little sample. Oh. I'm getting a lot of caramel here now, which I wasn't getting before. Maybe I made a mistake. Could be. curious. This one smells more woody than this one on the nose. Oh. It's a lower alcohol content. Well, okay, I still maintain that this is Highland Park 21 and this is Highland Park 18. I prefer the one I'm calling 18. And of course, this one is the highest ABV. Gonna have a Moin Oloroso. At least that's what I think it is. Oh. oh. Oh, this is good. That nose is exquisite. That is a beautiful nose. And I also went from lighter in color to darker in color, except for maybe these two. Uh, this is what I think is the, that's the one that leaked. That's what I think is the Springbank, the uh, Highland Park 21. And this one is the one that I think is the uh, Springbank 15. There's still quite a lot left. Um, see, I only just grazed the surface of these samples. But this one, sadly, is gone. And I'll just put it sideways so I can get the last few drops. I think that's the 21 uh, Highland Park. Okay, now let's have another one of these wee oat cakes. They just, mm. Mm. <laughs> what to do on a Tuesday morning after working all night Monday night? Taste whiskey samples. I don't think I would have had the restraint to sit on this any longer. And besides, this may have all drained, this would have probably been drained out had I left it a couple days. Okay. Let's go for the last one, which I think is the really strong one at 60.1%. Oh, it's like the Chobanach, but I think it's a lot. It's a more shared version of the Chobanach, and I'm probably pronouncing Chobanach wrong. I uh, wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, this is, I'm sure this is the Bunnahaven, and I don't care what it is, this is, 
This is as good as the Lefroy triple would, which is also an on an H statement. And uh, it's up there. When I first when I first nosed it, I thought it was an art bag. But this has a a slightly gentler peat than the art bag. But the high ABV really brings the flavors out and really brings the nose out. It just it just grabbing my nose hairs and trying to pull me right into the glass. Okay, let's see how well I did on this. I'm not gonna score them as I don't usually I don't score whiskey. I'll just give you the qualitative experience. Or as Ralphie would say, experience. Okay, now, I think I've done the list of samples, list of samples with key. Here we go. If I got one, if I got a couple of them wrong, that would be really cool. Uh, because I, I think I know what I'm tasting, but, but you know, I could be wrong. I could have really messed up on them. Okay, here we go. This is the folded envelope, the folded letter. <sighs> oh, okay. Oh, all right. All right, all right, all right. This is a picture of them all. Oh, okay. In Highland Park, okay. So now I can see how how full they were, or how empty they were. All right. Okay. So let's start with the red one, which was the Bonnehaven. Yeah, I was right. Okay. Um, the yellow one. The yellow one I got is Highland Park 21 year old. Interesting. I was sure that was the Spring Bank. Uh, this is the the green army green, the camel green. That's the Bell Blair. I was right there. The one that leaked out was the Highland Park 18 year old. Huh. And the Highland Park 21 was the was this one. I still have some. And this one here is the Springbank 15. Is the pink one. The one that's now the pink one, but I I did mix the pink and yellow ones, didn't I? Did I mix them? Did I, did I do a, a shell game on, on that? Oh, that was interesting. So the Springbank 18 is what I mistook for the 21. Let's pour a little more 21-year-old Springbank. Uh, or 15-year-old Springbank, sorry. Well, why do I need to do that? Well, I, I have a bottle of that. Okay, okay, let's pour a little more of that. And spill some. That's still half a sample of 15 year old Springbank. And this is the Highland Park 21. That's what we got as yellow now. Okay, let's do that again. Ooh. Oh, that was generous. I'm down to half a bottle now, or half a sample. <laughs> And I was right about the Bell Blair too, wasn't I? Yes, I was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so let's see. I got the spring bank, which I thought was the Highland Park 18. I got the Highland Park 21, which I thought was the spring bank. And I got the Highland Park 18, which I thought was the Highland Park 21. I got the Bonnehaven right, and I got the Gordon McPhail right. So two out of five ain't bad. <laughs> oh, so Highland Park 18, that's this one. And Highland Park 15 is this one. It's Springbank 15. Island Park 18. Interesting. I was sure the Highland Park 18 was the Springbank 15. No? Wait a minute. The Highland Park 18 was the one that spilled. I thought it was the Highland Park 21. And the Highland Park 21 I thought was the Highland Park 18. Yeah, I had the two, yeah. Interesting. I At least I got the endpoints right. Slancha. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. I want to thank you once again uh, for sending me these wonderful samples. And four out of five came here intact and in good, good shape and good condition. And I couldn't resist when I had this in front of me. And as soon as I unboxed it, I had to make the video. So I hope everyone was patient enough to put up with me. Um, in trying these uh, wonderful samples and getting three out of five wrong, but close because I got the end points and the middle ones were kind of close, two of them being Highland Parks and one one being a Springbank, which is a little like a Highland Park, isn't it? Anyways, um, yeah. Uh, let's blend them. <laughs> I still have some samples left, but let's blend them. And here's to five dirty glasses. Once again, Slancha, and thanks for bearing with me. <laughs>